Rapid Media presents Rapid Media TV. Learn more about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com. Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV. Last week we were at the Level 6 Cup in downtown Ottawa. Right now we're two and a half hours drive upriver here in the downtown Petawawa on the Petawawa River. The reason we're here is the Heller High Water Race. We're going to meet some of the rafters, we're going to meet some of the kayakers, and we're going to find out why this event got started and how you can help save the Petawawa River. Let's go! Here with event organizers Mike Cruzat and Brad Whip. You guys, there's a team of you that are involved in this. The two of you, and who else? Uh, there's Phil Compass yeah. and uh, Kim Barrington. Kim right, Barrington. Great. And this is the third year for this event. Can pretend that well, I mean everybody here knows how it goes, but pretend people watching this don't have a clue. This is a race. How does it go? Well, there's there's two parts to it. There's uh, it's divided into there's rafting and kayaking. So kayaker essentially they sign up and they do a run and that run is timed and that's part of the race. For rafting it's slightly different. Uh, for most of the guided raft they go down, they get one training run, then they go back up and the second run is time and that time goes for the race. Right and there's some, we just did an interview, we met some guys that are professional raft guides all in a boat but there's lots of people here that have never been in whitewater before. Tell me about that. Well, it's pretty exciting. We got the we got uh, uh, Mike put a call out to the base this year, and we had an overwhelming uh, response. So these guys were pumped to come down here, and they've just been having a blast. Right? Hey, there's Phil Compass. There's here Phil Compass now. Hey, get in here. Hey, why are you all wet? I'm still a little of breath. Just had a, my first race lap. It was good. It was good. Tell, we were just talking about uh, who's involved in this race, and but what's the point of getting all as many people together as possible? Well, there's a there's a lot of reasons for getting a lot of people out to the river. One is we want people to recognize the importance of this river as a recreational resource, and secondly, as we're going into negotiations or we're going into some con controversy around uh, the value of the river in terms of hydropower projects, it's good to increase the amount of usage the river has and just to increase the amount of navigation. It's it's going to be an important factor when they're determining white water releases and whether or not the dam project goes forward at all. Great. In my mind, guys, this is wildly successful. Good luck with the fight. I'm involved in it, obviously. And uh, anyway, have a great time tonight. Thank Thanks you so much, guys. Thanks for coming. I'm here at the bottom of the Petawawa town section. These guys just came down. This is one of the, if not the most experienced raft team we've got here. How many years between you guys, you figure? We can't count that high. A hundred and some years between you? Okay, there's a bunch of guys that have never rafted before with some guides at the back. All of you guys are raft guides, or have been at some time. What do you think the key is to getting down the river fast, Matt? Keep smiling, keep paddling. Just keep paddling. Big and white, dig harder. Yeah, but you guys weren't paddling the whole time. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's good though. I mean, you guys had some strategy. Chad, what do you think? What's the best, fastest way to get down? I think we were honest with each other and uh, and accepted the fact that uh, we're not spring chickens anymore. So, the key for us was uh, picking the the fastest lines, the cleanest lines, stay in the green, fast flow, and stay away from the white stuff that slows you down. Right. And now uh, all of our wives were joking. I want to know who was guiding. Who's guiding this thing with six raft guides in the boat? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. All right, thanks, guys. We'll go uh, get, get your breath. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Miller time! <laughs>
So it is Al Hutburn. It is the Community Alliance to Save the Petawawa. Is that what you're the head That's of? Correct. Yeah. All right, and it's Al Hepburn. Tell me a little bit about what you've put together and why. Well, when it, this project first came to my attention, it was obvious I was with at that time the Black Bay ratepayers. It was obvious they weren't going to be affected, but the, anyone who's a citizen of Petawawa should be, right. because. Uh, this uh, dam is going to cause a significant reduction in flow of about 300 meters of the river. And this is the proposed dam upstream of here where we are here at the catwalk. That is correct. That is correct. It would be upstream of the railway bridge and the turbine would be about 300 meters downstream of that and the section of river in between would be essentially dried up for about eight months of the year. Uh, I know here today that uh, there's, well, there's, the reason this event exists is to try and help save the river, but paddlers are here, they're signing petitions and they're signing letters that are going off to, where are these letters going? Well, the main letter is going to go to Premier McGuinty himself. We're going to say, you should be protecting this section of the river rather than destroying it. Uh, ultimately, under the class environmental assessment process, which is what's going on right now, the mechanism to attempt to stop it is to raise what's called a part two order request. This is normally done when they've concluded their environmental assessment and there is a 30 day period when the public can raise their remaining objections. So if I want to find out more information, I suspect I go to www.savethepetawawa.ca? That is correct. You'll find a lot of links there and also to Zeneca's website. The proponent has a website with a few documents on it. Great. Well, thank you very much, Al. Good luck with the fight. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for me at the third annual Hell or High Water event. What a successful day. But if this event is going to be truly successful, we're going to have to save the Petawawa River. Do you want to help? Go to www.savethepetawawa.ca or subscribe to Rapid and $5 from your subscription price is going to go and help save the river. That's it for me, Scott McGregor with Rapid Media TV, helping you paddle forever. Rapid Media presents Rapid Media TV. Learn more about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on-water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com.